I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction, here with a three minute cattle market update for Wednesday, February the 24th, brought to you in part by the American Simmental Association. Sim Genetics can be the ideal balance to generate faster gaining feeder calves, plus easy keeping replacements. Good market this week, uh, following some good weather. We've seen uh, some good demand, especially in the fed cattle arena here in the, in the past week or so. Your live cattle futures so far for the week had February contract on Monday up a dollar five. Tuesday was up 52 cents and April gained about a dollar and a half for the first two days of the week. But your February contract ended on Tuesday at 136.95. Feeder cattle on Monday for the March contract was down 70 after being up all day. But Tuesday come in strong up a dollar 85 to end the day at 157.02. Uh, we will go back to uh, regular old time day trading next week uh, so far as the uh, CFTC says it's all right but uh, we'll, we'll do away with the after hours trading on the cattle board and your regular hours will be from 8 30 to 105 in the afternoon your weighted average on the fed cattle trade last week on the in the five area they had 66,300 head sale and that's kind of what we'd seen for the last couple of years really on a typical week but so far this year we've been seeing some pretty good size negotiated trade which has been why the the, the demand has been uh, so much improved uh, last week had 96,000 head in the five areas but your live uh, steers averaged 133.63 which was up 207 and actually your market was only about a buck higher but when you threw all those together for the five area it was up over two dollars because we had a lot more cattle trade in the southern plains and Kansas and places at 134. Your dress steers averaged 209.82 and that was up 390. We've seen some light kills here the last couple of weeks and uh, your packers have kind of pulled back. Uh, for one reason they have to having to pay a little more for these fat cattle and having to compete for them a little more but uh, your box beef cutout values have been you know kind of down as we talk through the through the winter months and February is a tough month but uh, your Packers are just now getting into the red and losing some money uh, and normally they would have already been losing money for several weeks but uh, you're not going to have many cattle feeders that aren't corporate uh, crying too many tears over your Packers losing money they've been losing four or five hundred dollars a head for quite a while on some of their higher input cattle but uh, you know things are picking up a little bit it seems like uh, your cash feeder cattle Oklahoma City had 7900 head uh, feeder steers feeder and stocker steers five to ten dollars higher some of your lighter heifers were just two to four dollars higher your big steers weighing over 800 pounds were just steady to two dollars higher but we're starting to talk about stocker cattle more as we're getting in closer to spring all the time and, and then we've got that graze out demand uh, right now in the southern plains in your winter wheat grazing areas uh, for those that aren't going to cut uh, cut their wheat for a crop there they can go ahead and graze that uh, wheat all the way out and go into you know pretty much late May at least on some of that graze out wheat and and we're seeing some of the demand on that and really picking up on these six weight two weight cattle from the feeders and the, the stalker guys and the guys that are warming cattle up to turn out on grass and it's it's pretty good demand on those middleweight cattle for sure. Joplin had 6,800 head on Monday, steady to three higher for most uh, most of your weights there. Uh, Phillips, South Dakota, you look at that on Cattle Market Central on a specific quote there. They had a heck of a good sale there at Phillips, South Dakota on a Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon. They sold a load of 710 pound steers at 171.50. Check out DV Auction for a ton of production. Uh, breeding stock sales here this week and going through for the next several weeks and also on this Friday afternoon right after lunch there Joplin Regional Stockyards will hold a video auction that will be seen there on DV Auction. So uh, that's three minutes we'll talk to you on Friday.